One of the amazing facts I learned about James Hogg was that he was illiterate until he was 18. You're obviously a big admirer of his novel. What do you like about the novel so much? And are you aware that you're contributing to a tradition, you know, the tradition of you know, the Church of Scotland ministers or you know, the tradition that, that of James Hogg in what are Scotland were part of? I really, I, I really do like the James Hogg novel and I also like where James Hogg comes from. Yeah, the fact that he, he was you know, illiterate, uh, basically he was a, a, a peasant who taught himself to read and write and to be a writer um, at an age when that was a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, so it's not just the Confessions of a Justified Sinner that is a remarkable book. Hogg's life is pretty remarkable and he wrote masses of other stuff, much of which we've kind of forgotten about because that's the book that has become, for which he's become best known. But he wrote a huge amount of other stuff that kind of grows out of folklore and tr tradition and, and the traditions of the peasant population of that period. And I think that's really fascinating and I think that creates a a, a, a tradition that I respect and that I want to be um, to be able to follow in the footsteps in. But I'm also interested in other people from that period. Walter Scott, who was a great friend of Hogg's, but came from a different kind of social class um, and wrote a different sort of poetry and a different kind of novel from Hogg. That also interests me. So yes, I am conscious that there's a tradition of Scottish writing that, that I've um, more or less had to discover for myself because it really wasn't taught in schools when I was at school, but which I do feel part of. So yes, when I write, I am kind of conscious that there is another, that there is a, a, a tradition that I'm following on in the, in the footsteps of. In the footsteps of. One of the things about James Hogg is that you, was he ever fully accepted because of his background into the, the Edinburgh literary circles or was it a no, I don't think he was. He was patronised a bit, and even Scott, who was who was a good friend to him, even Walter Scott, kind of you know took the Mickey out of him quite a bit um, when his back was turned. And some of the other people who were the sort of literary stars of the day in, in and around Edinburgh were quite cruel to Hogg um, and mocked him because they saw him as being this kind of lower class guy that had somehow forced his way into their society or into their company. Um, so he wasn't fully accepted. And I think it's taken a long time for, for, for us to, to realise what uh, an immense uh, writer he was. Um, you know, they're now reissuing all of his work, which is a lot, much of which has been out of print for years and years. And it's also worth remembering that the, the Confessions of a Justified Sinner was a failure when it was first published in the 1820s. It, it was not successful as a book, and it wasn't really until the, um, the middle of the 20th century that it was reissued and became much better known. So you could actually say that Hogg's book has only really become uh, a famous and successful novel uh, pretty much 200 years after he lived.